What's up, everybody? It's Katia, and welcome to the last English bit this fourth season. So, in today's English bit, we're going to review everything we've learned together throughout this academic course, and we're going to do it thanks to a quiz that I've prepared for you. Are you ready to refresh your knowledge? If so, grab a pen and a piece of paper and let's kick off! So, there will be 25 questions with two options, A and B. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to make your choice and to write it down. Very important, don't skip it. And then I'm gonna give you the correct answer straight away. So, are you ready to test your knowledge? If so, let's get down to business. So the first idiom, I'm back to square one. What does it mean? Option A, I'm back at work after vacation. Or option B, I have to start from scratch because my first attempt to achieve something has failed. Choose A or B, write it down. And now I'm gonna give you the correct answer. Are you ready? So the correct option is B. The idiom to be back to square one means that you tried to achieve something, you failed and you have to start again and keep going. And I'm sure that in the end you will succeed. Number two, we've got another idiom, stop kicking the can down the road. Option A, stop delaying or avoiding dealing with a problem. Or option B, get your act together, which means start to organize yourself better so that you can be more effective. So choose the correct option and the correct answer is A stop delaying or avoiding dealing with the problem. Let's move on to our third idiom, I know my own mind. Option A, I'm confident and not easily influenced by others. Or B, I'm a bit stubborn. So what do you think? A or B? So the correct option is A. I'm confident and not easily influenced by others. It has a positive connotation. Number four, I'm chuffed to bits. A, I'm elated, which means I'm very happy. Or B, I'm miserable, very sad. What do you think? So the correct option to be chuffed to bits is to be elated, to be over the moon. So the correct option is A. If it's correct, put a tick. Number five, fair chance. A, something is likely to happen, or B, something is unlikely to happen. What do you think? The correct option is B, something is unlikely to happen fat chance. Number six, these sneakers have been selling like A, pancakes, B, hot cakes. Choose the correct option and write it down. And the correct answer is B, like hot cakes. So to sell like hot cakes means to be bought very quickly. Number seven, I'm planning on traveling on my own in the foreseeable future. So what does in the foreseeable future mean? A, in the near future, or B, in the distant future? A or B? So the correct answer is A. In the foreseeable future is a synonym of in the near future. Number eight, I'm completely stumped. Option A, I don't know how to do something because it's too difficult or I'm unable to answer a question. Or B, 
I'm 100% sure. So A or B? The correct answer is A. If it's correct, put a tick so that at the end of the quiz, you know your score. Number nine, it's been a grueling day. Option A, it's been a relaxing day. Or B, it's been an extremely tiring day. Make your choice. And the correct option is B. Grueling means exhausting, very tiring. Number 10, for good. What does it mean? A, permanently or B, for the better? The correct answer is permanently. For example, he left the company for good. Let's move on to the question number 11. He's such an obnoxious guy. Option A, he's a pleasant guy and B, unpleasant. The correct option is B. Obnoxious means unpleasant. It's a negative feature. Number 12, a new law has been A, passed or B, approved. So it's a collocation and the correct answer is A, to pass a law, which means to officially accept a law by voting. Number 13, albeit, an adverb, albeit. What does it mean? A, although or B, however. The correct option is A, although. An example sentence, I was nervous, albeit determined to achieve my goal. Number 14, he's a bit of a rogue. So who is a rogue? A, he behaves badly, but even so you like him. Or B, he's a thoughtful guy. A or B? The correct option is A. Number 15, he tends to jettison things. A, he tends to hoard things. Or B, he tends to get rid of things. What do you think? So the correct option is B. To jettison means to get rid of. 16, this material is A, undestructible or B, indestructible? A or B? The correct answer is B. The prefix you have to use is in, indestructible. Number 17, she's single-minded. Option A, she's determined to achieve something. Or B, she's stubborn. What do you think? So the correct option is A. So to be single-minded is positive and you are determined to achieve something single-minded. Let's move on to the question number 18, industrious. What does it mean? It's a synonym of industrial or B, very busy and hardworking. A or B? The correct option is B. So someone industrious is a very hardworking person. For example, she's industrious. Number 19, I didn't mean to lead you on. A, I didn't mean to confuse you. Or B, I didn't mean to make you think that I liked you. A or B? The correct option is B. The phrasal verb to lead someone on means to make someone think that you like them. Number 20, I fell back on them. A, it means I argued with them or B, I relied on them when I was in difficulty. A or B? The correct option is B. To fall back on someone or something 
means to turn to someone or something when you are in need. Number 21, bring it on. A, come on, I'm excited about facing a new challenge. Or B, give it to me. The correct answer is A, bring it on. 22, will do. A, I'll do it later. Or B, sure. A or B? The correct answer is B, sure. So remember, you can use will do instead of sure. Will do. 23, she wants to be A, a botanist, or B, a botanic. The correct option is A. She wants to be a botanist. So a botanist is a job and botanic is an adjective. For example, a botanic garden. Tomorrow to go, 24, the acoustics, A, are horrible in this cafe or B, the acoustics is. So choose the correct option and it's A. The acoustics are horrible. So we have to use a plural form. And last but not least, I jumped A at the chance to practice my English or B on. So choose the correct preposition. And the correct one is A. You jump at the chance or at the opportunity. So guys, that's it for today. The quiz grand finale is over. Please let me know how it went and your score. I'm super curious. And guys, I really hope you enjoyed this quiz and found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. And guys, this is the last class. I've made 50 lessons this academic course. And next week, we're going to start a new season, the fifth one. So thank you for everything. And I hope to see you next academic course. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being there. And thank you for everything. You're amazing. See you in a week. Ciao for now.